features thermal camera. Here we have one of the drone lines, no drones here, it's quite a drone. So you see, it's a full size. Okay, what do we have here? Slack stacker, another thing, which is cool. Small push tank, one aircraft. Real track. Here we have a very cool stage. All of the island system. Both from dynamic slide. <laughs> okay, we finally arrived to San Mateo and today is July 20, 2025 and we are visiting open source. And you see the parking lot is completely occupied. So like 10-15 minutes to find a spot. So let's go inside and see what we have today and uh, see you. Look at this. This is gorgeous, wonderful. First ever badge uh, like this I have. <laughs> so technically it's a kind of like, it's PCB board. You can build something on it. So hopefully we'll do this. And we are here in the main venue. We just passed through the gates, pick up our badge, did some security check, and uh, we are going inside. So, IoT Forge, we are going to make this the best ever outcome. <laughs> we are going to try to have this event. Okay, so here, uh, just after we enter the main menu, we see some expo stands with uh, some information related space and the most like solar panels built for satellites and some automotive stuff, some 3D printing stuff. We have some physics science and uh, oh, why the northern hemisphere stones? Okay, in a counterclockwise. Okay, looks nice. Let's go inside, see what we have found. Okay, so we have here some uh, 3D printing stuff, some uh, Lego stuff, and you see a bunch of different showcases. And here one more. So the different areas, so they build various stuff. This is Spider-Man and you could use different uh, colors for the project. So very nice. Here is thermal camera. So you see this guy is me. Hello, hello. And uh, it's quite, it's black and white because it's a thermal camera. So yeah, say hello. <laughs> And uh, here we have more projects from long ago. You see this wonderful computer from, I believe, maybe 80s or <laughs> something. And uh, you have uh, advanced PCB boards. You could buy them or you could have them in the shape of four. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Some robotics. Cool, interesting shape. Here we have quadcopter drone like. It's called the drone thing. Quite big one. I used to be built from plastics, but this is a construction piece. More drones here. It's more like a shape of some future aircraft. So here is the demo of how it works. And uh, you see, uh, it uses like big engine fan, and you could launch it like this, throwing it. It's nice. And here we have how it moves. Really cool. So easy, and you 360 degree turns left, right, and uh, quite speedy guy. <laughs> oh, you see, it cannot just easily. Be it, but it is up or down <laughs> side because it's technically all the way around. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? So really cool, uh, like spider drone. 
It's a uh, ground droid in the form in the shape of huge eight leg spider. Here we have even bigger drone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight engines and a uh, kind of plane drone. Very interesting. So this is drone simulation you could use and see how to operate the drone. Real time simulation. Very cool. So you see it's a full size okay. demo version of a potential Android built cyber bit. Now I think it's Android, right? And uh, here we have uh, advanced uh, Palmer material, which is produced by Palmer Dynamics, and it's the actual machine which produces. And by the way, this drone was built with all these machines. It looks very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, more 3D printing stuff and some small robotics. Very cool, guys. You see? Hello, guys. Oh my gosh! This is, uh, I don't check out his name. Maybe Tinky Winky <laughs> from a very, very old kids, small kids show. Nice. PCB way. Hello, Maker. So, I believe that you could do something with your ticket, <laughs> which is PCB board. Okay, so let's decide where we go. We have left, middle, and right direction. I believe let me finish the right direction. Okay, on the right side I see more signs like projects, some cool customized widgets, let's say, and uh, some even more interesting stuff. Okay, what do we have here? Track stacker. So we have an interesting thing here. Okay, well, let us make a lead diving here. So you see a line of metal balls, they go up. Yeah. And then one by one they get into this box and randomly they decided to play their girl. So like crazy kind of tools machine. But I love it. I like I always like this type of like when you do precise over engineering, I would call it that way. So what do we have here is one robotics again, which is cool. I think this is more like a uh, custom project, so it reminds me about uh, Boston Dynamics robots we probably are familiar with. So this is a uh, simulation of the robot, so you could uh, see how it behaves and how to control it. And okay, so you see how this person controls this robot. It's pretty cool. I mean, like, small size, nice shape. And uh, this is more explanation of electromechanical architecture for this robot. You could uh, scan QR code and uh, get more details how it works. This is the end of uh, different devices which are produced uh, for, they say, say, like innovation for thinkers. So, uh, different like, complicated watch mechanism you could uh, work, build at home, along with your kids, maybe. More custom build stuff. Again, a lot of people, really crazy amount of people. Meanwhile, I'm uh, complaining about a lot of people. One more flying drone. So, but it's a lot of folks. I'm mean, like, just look at this. Oh my gosh, so loud and many people. Because of many people. So, different stuff. And here we have a incredible big Dell Alienware. <laughs> with a future prototype. So you see it? Technically you could use it and uh, print. So it's a real big simulation of a laptop. Oh, nice. So this is a monitor so for how hard we hit. So it's like real human. Simulation gel, and here you can uh, how hard you hit it. Do you want to get a slap? Yeah, okay. Huh? Want me to record you? Uh, okay, yeah, thank you. So let's see how it works.
and uh, you see yeah it has different uh different matters thank you so much that's good This is small fish tank. Nice demo board. Nice fish tank. Not a big one. This is a real simulation of flying on an aircraft. You see, it has a pro gear, like a cabin gear. Uh, it's real size, full scale controls for the plane. Yeah, like. And you put the field track. Yeah, it's really cool. Looks very good. Yeah. Here we have a real track. And uh, if you want to challenge your skills of controlling the sports truck. Okay, here we have a very cool stage. It's in back hole studios, so they do different uh, special stuff for movies, uh, different content, different prototypes. You see some robotics, Wally like. It's not Wally, but Wally like. Some huge futuristic guns. And all of them work, and there uh, here is uh, some example from a movie because he used laser gun, so very, very cool stuff. Okay, and here we have what I was told it's a Apollo guidance system. The Apollo, which was used for moon mission. Very cool, really old rifle stuff here. Okay, nice. Cool. We have here a laser slash neon room show. Uh, a lot of different stuff. And you see very cool different projections. As I mentioned, laser mostly. And different other visual effects. It's very cool to see it in the uh, dark. Here we have another Boston Dynamics like robot. And you see it's controlled by that person. It can jump, it can move one leg. Pretty cool, I mean, like it's really responsive. And, oh, nice. It's like moving, jumping crow mode style. <laughs> nice. Not only like separate control over each leg. But also, you see, it's doing like only by two legs. And uh, it also has these cool uh, separated left and right sides controls over the body. Very cool guy. So I do really hard costume space Uh huh. And when I say really hard, I mean this is a 10 foot tall costume. Wow, nice. You so, see? <laughs> yes, that's, that's kind of the build process of the costume. Oftentimes when I'm doing something this large, uh, I use forearm punches for the front arms, uh -huh. just for the safety of whoever is backing in it. And it also creates a nice little platform for any sort of controls that I want to have to develop my guy animatronic. Nice. So, or, uh, Smile! <laughs> Yeah, very cool stuff. Oh, nice, they actually operated. Cool, so this is small, nice simulation of uh, construction field. People can control these small construction devices. Very cool. And here we have open source and very cool. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, like MRI, yes. Okay, okay. And MRI, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we have uh, open source of soldering. And this is like production ready, induction soldering. So you could build it and it will be 10 times less expensive. So this is the device to build bomber drinks in an autonomous way. Very, very popular and addictive stuff here in California. 
And here we have uh, World Records, Guinness Records, the fastest number to solve Pagolo Cube. Oh, just 0 0.1 second. Okay, very right, cool. Here we have some boost bot with your uh, ball tender, autonomous ball tender. Okay, here we have uh, the most fans we got in. Oh, see, it's studio. I know these guys. We ordered, we ordered Jets and Nana from them, waiting from China to be shipped in September. They do a lot of retail for microcontrols, chips, electronics. Okay. Motor, metal of the robots. Metal bots looks like it starts now. Or not now, or maybe it's something different. Okay, so we're outside and move to other buildings. So the overall space in there is really huge. You have to see projects also outside as well. So these white tents, big, big very line to purchase some merch from uh, open source, if you would like. So I think we'll get a lot of materials. Maybe we'll do two videos, uh, not just one. I uh, don't want to waste uh, your time and the content as well so anyways just a reminder please subscribe hit like hit bell button we are doing for you guys only for you our best best visitors and people who watch our content thank you bye for now